Here are my um, both of my Fibonacci prints. Um, I cleaned this one up a little bit. Um, it's very difficult to hold because the tip's extremely sharp and they end up breaking if you just hold it like that. So um, I did have a hard time doing it, but um, yeah, um, most of the trouble was just clipping all the stuff off the bottom around the edges. Um, this other one here, I am. Um, let me just get close. I can't get closer. Yeah, um, I basically still had a couple of lines on it, so um, I just sanded them down a bit after spraying. As you can see, it's been sprayed. Surprise, surprise. Because it's red. But because it's plastic primer I'm spraying it with, it kind of bonds with the plastic. So when you do sand it, all the kind of lines are filled in by it. So I think it was about half an hour of sanding after that. And it's pretty much done as it is now. It might look a bit ugly, but I'll spray it again. I just wanted to show you it again before um, I get on with this guy here. Um, this one I'm going to dip today just to show you what it looks like after the, the process. Just to show you um, what it looks like from all angles. And um, yeah, the bottom actually ripped out all the um, stuff on the inside there. I just tore it out with the with this one. I left it in there as you can see. So um would be more careful not to let the just in case there are any holes in here I'm not gonna dip it all the way because I don't want it drowning and ruining the structure just in case it does do anything bad I'm just gonna sand a little touch more around the bottom just to be perfect um, there you go that's what the bottom looks like and this one there is looks all right I mean, there, there is a little bit of warping. It's rock solid now. It was, um, I can't push my finger on it anymore. It's not rubber. I mean, once you've soaked it in acetone, it gets this rubbery kind of, it, it takes on this rubbery form, but it does go away. I think it's just the amount of acetone it absorbs or something like that, but yep. Anyway, I'll be back after, um, maybe I'll spray that one. But I'll clean that one up a bit more and then um, dip it. Hi there, um, yeah, just wanted to show you that some of the sanding I've done at the bottoms. This is pretty much what it looks like. Just got a bit of sandpaper, folded it in half and went over them individually. So um, I'm going to dunk it now. First dunk. Just wanted to show you exactly how much of it I've done. Um, Okay, and that's what it looks like. Seventy millimeters, two hundred and thirty degrees. The other ones like this. I'm not dunking this one, this one's finished in my opinion. I'm just gonna spray it again, but not now. Right, I've dunked it. So that's what it looks like after a dunk. I'm probably gonna give it a little sand again and then Go all over again. I can't even tell if I'm in focus anymore.
I think it looks quite good. It's going white here. Start to eat away a bit here as well, but whatever. You know, you can file it down to whatever you want. I've deliberately left the acetone inside there, um, which might be a mistake. But uh, whatever, we'll see what happens. I did try and um, empty it out of the gaps because you can see it's still in the little gaps here and there and stuff, but it came out really nice at the top. See, really, really cool. And that was at 70, so I'm quite surprised by that. There we go. Really nice. I've just let this one alone for a while um, because uh, it was wet. It's done all that funny white stuff now that the PLA, the uh, ABS, that the acetone does to the PLA. Um, it came out really nice looking actually. I um, wish I could show you. Um, hold on, I'll get my phone and I'll light it up with the phone. It's really smooth. Um, I do like it. I thought it would be. A bit rubbish, but it's really nice. Hold on. So you can see it there. Um, that's what it looks like after a dunk. It's really nice. Um, really good. Um, so it does pay to sand beforehand just to save you time later, but once you do it, you do it. There's pour it inside there as well, so it's kind of nice and smooth as well. But yeah, that's what it looks like after it's been dunked. I deliberately didn't let it drown in it just in case. But considering this one has no internal structure like the other one, then I'm pretty safe. But yeah, looking really good so far. I'll just give it a once over just in case I see something I don't like. And then I'll uh, dunk it one more time. Sorry. And that's that. So yeah, looking really good. All right. Um, I just um, wanted to say what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna uh, just sand down. Some of these bottom bits here, because uh, I want it to be perfect. I mean, it's it's pretty damn good to be honest with you. Um, I don't think I need to actually do anything more to this, but if you can see, I don't know if you can see it there. I'm just trying to show you just the some of these bits here, like in here or. The, just a little bit here, a little bit there. I'll just go over and sand them like here as well. This one and this one. I'll just go to sand over them a bit. Um, these bottom ones seem really smooth because um, I sanded them prior to dipping it. Um, no filler at all, just one bit of sand, about an hour's worth of sanding and um, a dip. So um, I'll show you what it looks like after another like, 20 minutes or half an hour of sanding. But before I do the sanding, I'll just kind of show you what I'm doing to sand it. Hold on. So I've just got a bit of sanding paper like that. And I literally just fold it around and... And that's it. Just go around. And that's it. Simple. Even a child can do that. Don't even need to be that accurate because... Um, after the dip, it smooths it all out. So, you know, just go like. And that's it. Anyway, I'll be back after I do that for about half an hour. See you all. All right, I'm back. I finished all the sanding I'm gonna be doing on this. I cannot be asked doing any more. Hope you can have a look. Um, hold on, let me just. 
focus in. There you go, that's what it looks like before I do the second dip. It's pretty f damn awesome to be honest with you. Um, maybe I'll do that one a bit more. No, I'm not going to bother. I'm, I want to do a mold out of this in case you're wondering why I'm going so anally um, on the bottoms because the bottoms weren't that great. But there you go, look at that. It's really nice. And that's after one dip. Wow. <laughs> Shut up. It looks yeah, really nice. Yeah, video. It looks nice. It, it does, does look, nice. look at that. That's pretty damn sweet. Very geeky. <coughs> Doesn't matter. Geeks are watching this. I am a geek. <laughs> Yeah, but look, there you go. There is no argument. This is better than any acetone vapor nonsense or tetrafluoroethyl hydro or whatever the hell that other chemical is. There you go. Inside there. See, it's even smoothed the inside of it. I'm going to give it one last dip and then I'll show you. All right. Peace. So, there is my um, acetone box that I keep outside as you can see and then I've got a glove like this and I'm just gonna literally take it and dip it in there for about maybe 15 seconds because the first one I did for 20 I think that's um, a really nice number and um, yeah I did a really nice job and I don't want to overdo it and I kind of want this waiting out stuff on um, on this side a bit more just to make sure that the, it's kind of eaten away evenly on it. All right, and we're back in a sec. All right, so I'm back here and I've just done the dip. We didn't let any liquid sit in there like I did last time, so uh, I have a feeling it's not gonna be as cool as I wanted it to be. However, that's what it looks like. I might dip it again, considering that it doesn't look like the... Um, yep, that's it. <coughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna dip it again. I'm not happy not enough acetone like dribbles around in there like there was last time. I think I shook it. I shouldn't have shaken it. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna dip it again. I'm not happy with that. Alright. That's after the third dip. I'm not gonna be I'm not doing any more, I can't be bothered. Um, I'm still really happy with the way it came out. It looks really good. Um, I've deliberately drenched it. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That's what it looks like. I'll try and zoom in a bit more. Hold it up to the camera. Why is it suddenly gone dark here? Mm hmm There you go. You can see from the silhouettes there are no jaggies on the bottom much. Nice detail on the top, on the side. Hold on, I'm gonna get my phone so I can light it up a bit better for you. Okay, I've got my phone here. So hold on, obviously I need to focus the camera for the close-ups, but there you go. That's what it looks like.
inside there. Bottom's a mess. Who cares? No one's gonna look at the bottom. It's all about the sides and there. Uh, something leaked there. I don't know why I still got that's a turn on the hand. But there you have it. Fibonacci, bloom, whatever you want to call it. Done. That's what it looks like finished. I don't think acetone will get those effects, get those results. But yeah, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Try some acetoning yourself on PLA, black color fab. I re highly recommend. And that's it. My next one going to be a really poorly printed one but um because it used 17 meters of PLA I feel I uh, I went too far to abandon it all right I'm out enjoy bye